Okay, everybody. Uh, here we are at the actual St. Peter's Church, uh, the church that Vicki and I were at uh, yesterday that you saw footage of that was done in a very Baroque style. Apparently was the church of the... Huh, church of the Holy Ghost. And it was literally right across the street from St. Peter's. Also done in Baroque style. Also done with uh, an unusual dome with a clock on it. Uh, also housing uh, bone fragments and reliquaries of, uh, of a saint. Uh, this one, however, is wider, taller, uh, much more ornate, but done still in a similar Rococo or Baroque style that's indigenous of uh, Germany. However, St. Peter's Church is the oldest church serving Munich, and it is the oldest serving Catholic church, and it does house the skeletal remains of St. Mundia. Uh, Mundita and it also has a very tall tower that uh, allows for sweeping panoramics of the city of Munich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this shot and kind of narrate a little bit here as to exactly what we're seeing. But uh, this is um, very nice. Vicki and I came here three different times trying to get footage inside and there were services going all three times. So this is the fourth time being back here, later in the day, and we're starting to lose the light, but I'm going to do the best I can uh, so we can see, you know, more of this uh, incredible Baroque church. Uh, this one had been severely damaged and partially destroyed during the war, so a lot of what you're going to see are reclaimed and salvaged pieces mixed with brand new uh, production. The ceilings and uh, murals specifically are the ones that bore the brunt of the damage from the war. You can see there the uh, pipe organ loft. Statues of the Twelve Apostles and Jesus crucified. You can see up front their um, Christmas tree display and the tabernacle, as well as the main altar. The lectern post. And this one has wall niches for a variety of, of murals. So we'll come back in a minute. 